What's up everyone? I'm Dylan and welcome to the sixth episode of OCD Guitar Reviews. In today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing this ESP LTD SCT 607B. Wow, that was a mouthful. But first, let's see how this guitar sounds. <laughs> First off, let's talk about this headstock. Now I have to be honest, I am not the biggest fan of this headstock shape. I prefer pointy headstocks on my ESP guitars. This is more of a Strat-esque style shape with a little hook right here. It's somewhat similar to the headstock that ESP uses on their snapper guitars, but what do you guys think about it? One thing I love about this headstock though is that its color matches that of the body and the rest of the guitar. But I have to note, this is actually a black guitar with light green sparkles overlaid on top of the finish and spaced out a little bit, giving you an overall impression of a darker green. Now this guitar has ESP locking tuners that offer excellent tuning stability, but where ESP cut corners a little bit here is with the nut. This guitar only has a plastic nut. They could have easily put a GraphTech nut on here, especially at this price. Now let's talk about this fretboard a little bit. One thing I love about this fretboard is that it has no fret markers, which makes it look incredibly sleek and stealthy. It's also worth noting that the entirety of the fretboard is lined with this beautiful perloid binding that looks absolutely incredible on this guitar. It might be a little bit hard to see in pictures. Now this neck is thick and chunky. I personally love it, but if you're accustomed to playing seven strings by brands such as Ibanez, it's not really going to be your cup of tea, unfortunately. As for the body, this perloid pickguard and this tele style control layout looks incredibly classy, and I love it. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you would know that I am not the biggest fan of Fishman Fluence pickups. That being said, these Steph Carpenter signatures sound incredible in this guitar. And if you're a Deftones fan, you're going to be getting some instant you've seen the butcher tones out of these. Now, one thing that's a little annoying is the placement of this pickup right here. I know that Steph uses this pickup configuration to make his guitars look a little bit like Vivian Campbell's Night Swans. But unless you lower this pickup, you're going to be hitting into it repeatedly with your picking hand. I'm going to say this in every video until ESP changes this. But come on, guys. Easy access battery pack, please. Even Schechter's doing it. One last thing I wanted to mention about this guitar's body is that it has a tunematic bridge that offers incredible sustain and contributes to this guitar's amazing tuning stability. As for my overall impression of this guitar, this guitar is so frigging heavy. It weighs in at about 10 pounds, but I love it. I love heavy guitars. They just feel more substantial in my hands, and this guitar certainly sounds just as heavy as it feels. And the best part is, with a finish like this, you're gonna be seeing it from all the way at the back of the stadium. Now as for the QC, this guitar is basically immaculate. There are a few places where the paint is overspreading the binding ever so slightly, and I'm gonna bring up some pictures for you all to see, but this guitar is very, very well put together. It is without a doubt the best seven string I've played to date. So if you enjoyed today's episode of OCD Guitar Reviews, please click like, comment, or subscribe, and stay tuned for next week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching.